women. I feel borderline tipsy. Like, I feel tipsy. Everybody, I was like, I have to go I see my friend. I'm going to pop up on her. Jump in her arms. Happy Saturday. We are running around in the streets. It was a great night last night. I had so much fun. Beautiful evening. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, but we had a good time. We are running a couple of errands and probably gonna grab some lunch, but that's it for today. All right. soup and not be silly. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sleepy. We need to go home and we need to put salmon in the smoker. That's what's for dinner. So, when I go home and lay down for a second, we will get to the salmon. I feel borderline tipsy. Like, I feel tipsy. But, yeah. Might be three days though. Last time we did that shit. When I was driving, I my children. They sent me a notification though, saying I'm my account was restricted for three days. But you, you're thinking it's restricted behind music? Well, they in my live because I was driving. Oh yeah. So it's like a uh, oh, policy yeah. violation and uh, because of hazardous risk, you know what I'm saying? But I think somebody in the car with the passenger seat. It's another it's live. another website that does not let you like go live and do certain stuff like that when they you when your car is in motion. It makes sense, I get it. Uh, of course it does. They, I don't think they're supposed to be doing that in here. You ready to go? Yeah. I'll see y'all once I get home and get to this salmon, okay? 
Oh, it was good now. November 12th we are headed to the Joe's to do a little work I sure don't feel like it <laughs> uh, I know y'all are probably like she never feels like it no sometimes I do but a lot of times I don't um, I just you know I, my apologies if I just keep on running this back but I had such a great weekend I, I really did and I think that helps I think that helps me you know go ahead even though I may not really feel like it it helps me to go ahead get up in the morning get my day started like I had a beautiful weekend oh, sorry uh, yeah it was so nice um let's talk about the restaurant sir in dallas is in the anatole hotel high up on like high up in the air i, I don't know what floor it was <laughs> i don't remember um but it was beautiful and we got there kind of late so like it was just not a lot of people the food was good i didn't have a whole lot i just had a steak um i had a ribeye which was amazing um the mac and cheese it was it was just mac and cheese and i think he had pork chops um, but the food was good overall the vibe was great um the drinks were strong so and then yesterday we really didn't do a whole lot um because we were tired we ran out to the um like the wholesale district we have a wholesale district here in dallas where you can get you know all the stuff that goes viral on tiktok you know you want to sell t-shirts you want to sell hats you want to whatever you want to sell wholesale purses fajas <laughs> you name it um you can get it there and um he needed to purchase some things for his clothing line so we did that and not not too much else um i was really tired 
and I think two because that steak, like I said, me and me and red meat just don't get down like that. Like when I eat a piece of meat, I don't know, my body just does not care for it. It, it takes a you know meat anyway it takes a really long time to digest, and it seems like it takes me twice as long and. It, it drags me down <laughs> it takes everything out of me so I think I'm still recuperating a little bit from eating the whole entire steak but it was so good it was it was so worth it um so I'm gonna work today and my week is gonna be kind of light luckily because you know I think I may have mentioned this before those those Thursday morning meetings that I have there's no way that I can like <laughs> get up and be at a eight o'clock meeting and then work all day and then work all night like i ain't with it so i'm only gonna participate in doing that one time this week and i'm gonna start working on these areas to continue packing um, that's the only action that your girl has going on like I would like to have a posh sale once I get my closet cleaned out, but yee. I'm ready to pack that rack up. But yeah, I had a gorgeous weekend. It's, it's just so amazing to like, even in the midst of everything that's going on, it's just so amazing to have a significant other. You know, maybe he's not your man, you know, maybe he's just your friend um my battery is about to die but anyway maybe he's just your friend but you have this person who you know you can count on who's good to you who you know cares about your well-being and your children and you know looks after you and you can call them in emergencies and you can talk to them about absolutely fucking anything <laughs> they're truthful and honest and compassionate and kind and the list goes on and on but I'm thankful so and I think now you're kind of seeing a little bit more of him it is what it is you know what I'm saying I this is my life and I'm not scared of it I'm not ashamed I'm not embarrassed and you know I understand the journey so yes he could be here one day the next he could be gone but right now he's here and I'm going to appreciate that and I thank anybody who rocks with me on that because, um, yeah, he's very important to me. But my battery is about to die. I'm about to go to work. I will catch up with y'all when I get off in a little while. Um, as always, have a wonderful day. And, um, yeah, we'll catch up, friends. Good morning good morning have not picked up the camera today is tuesday november 14th my rig is shaking um i don't know what happened this light 
I don't know what happened to the I don't know what happened to my little rig up here. She wanna dance this morning. I don't like it. Um oh, this sun. Okay, so I be I I not be paying attention in the morning sometime and I'll be hitting the curb. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay, November 14th, y'all. Um uh, November 14th, um Tuesday, it's a lot going on. My daughter showed up at my office yesterday and I totally forgot how I asked her to come and work for me this week so i looked up yesterday and she's standing right in front of me so we're gonna do that for a couple of days um i have to work this evening tomorrow i have no idea um thursday eight o'clock meeting um shit um friday probably nothing uh i need a reset I, I need to do a reset. I need to hit a button. Uh, something. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm sleepy now. Okay, like I'm 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 tired. It's um, yeah, it's ten minutes to ten. I'm late. Lord. Again. <laughs> it's ten minutes to ten. Yeah, I'm late. Uh. Let me go. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm being what? I know it is. Okay. I'm just so thankful that um, work is getting done today. Um, so thankful. Oh, today is day is the 14th. Nothing chill. Yeah, but his birthday is Monday. I need to find something for us to do at least Monday or Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, chill. I mean, you know, you can only do what you can do. Aston don't understand that. Well, Aston will have to understand that. Yeah, it'll be okay though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be all sweet. Uh, oh, okay. This will be all sweet. No, girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. You can You can only do what you can do. Get your work done. <laughs> okay, good deal. Moving right along. <laughs> hey, Justin. Hey. Um, I am. I'm getting ready to head to the bank. What's up? I was trying to see if y'all can ask a huge favor. Right now, I'm a bit. I'm about to get ready to do a switcheroo. I'm about to go to my car and get my change of clothes, change my clothes, and head on the other side of town. Um, 
yeah that's it that's all for today um i want to send a huge shout out to miss addy i haven't really gotten a lot of more comments yet but just this morning since i posted the video because baby they was they were holding on to me <laughs> they were holding on to me for dead life i was like please can i let my video go baby i'm like um two three days late but that's okay that's okay um again i i couldn't be more thankful just for the opportunity to kind of be seen and recognized and you know for now i'm i'm taking all sponsorships for now i'm taking any kind of brand deals just to um get the exposure and get the experience you know it was it, it that wasn't like my first but as far as like my first kind of situation on youtube and having to you know record certain things and actually test the jewelry out and th the thing for me is i like the jewelry i like it because it's fade resistant it does not tarnish i love silver jewelry i love little dainty earrings I, i'm i'm telling y'all like i ain't gonna I, look i am not gonna i'm not gonna guess y'all look okay um i forgot which ones these are but i have these on i just think they're so cute like they're so I'm I'm with it. If if you order it and you like jewelry that doesn't tarnish or fade, and I like the jewelry, I I would actually buy the jewelry. So again, thanks to Anna Luisa for that. But I'm about to shut this thing down, change my clothes, and get out of here because I really I'm not feeling it today. Um, I did decide that I think I'm gonna be like trying to give my Thursdays up. Um. I know y'all are probably tired of hearing me talk about it, but like I said, once I can get moved and get in my space and get everything figured out, then I'll be doing my seasonings and what have you. So a lot of my continuation of, of starting this new chapter will be, <laughs> yeah. But have a good day. I'm about to go make these dollars holler because <laughs> they are screaming. I love y'all. Bye. Hey, good morning. Top of the Wednesday to you. Today is the 15th, 16th, 15th. Wow. Um, not a lot going on. It was very interesting. I was posed a question about like my friendship circle. You know, like girls being on my videos and hanging out with my friends and you know, it seems like I'm always with my man if I'm not by myself and yeah, that's the answer. Um I don't know. For me personally, I just found myself getting into friendships with women who had a lot of demands on me. And I don't like that. I don't want to be in any relationship that's demanding of me. One moment, please. Hi, Rachel. Can I ask you today? Um, yes. Can I get two biscuits, please? I don't want to be in a relationship where the person has demands on me because nine times out of ten that means I'm probably not going to meet your expectations you know but because I know what kind of friend I am if I get to know you that allows me to understand what kind of friend I need to be to you rather than you have demands on me you know um i was in a friendship situation ship whatever you want to call it with somebody for a really really long time i mean we literally started out being friends like you know when when my second child was born so this this was a long time ago but you know over the course of the years i just felt like there were just so many demands placed on me you know people's lives change you know maybe you got married maybe you had a baby and 
you had to tend to that, you know? And even though your friendship was important, you still have a life. You, you still have, you know, things going on and whatever it may be. And I just felt like, you know, you're, you're giving me this list of things to do and you're putting me on this guilt trip all the time, you know, because of my presence in your life. But based on your behavior, based on the things that are going on in your life, you know, I may realize like, yeah, you need some space. And I, I don't know. I just, I don't like that feeling. Um, I, I don't like that feeling. Okay, where's my wallet? Okay, y'all, I gotta go. Um, on the agenda today, my daughter is continuing to work with me. This evening, I gotta make the best of my Wednesday, tomorrow, early morning meeting. Um, tomorrow evening, uh, I'm gonna pop up on my friend. She has a med spa and she's gonna be in Flower Mound at some sipping shop. And I am going to go see the look on her face when I pull up. Like Hello, good morning. Is it whiskey? Mm hmm. Any sauce for you? Uh, strawberry jelly, please. I'm gonna go pull up on her and, um, thank you and see her and maybe she can help me get rid of some of this fat up under my neck because I'm tired of looking at it and again I could do it myself but I could do it myself and probably save a lot of money in the process because some of that maintenance can get a little pricey but yeah tomorrow evening do the sipping shop thank you so much mm. can i get the strawberry jelly <laughs> that's okay thank you so you have to double check your bags double check your bags because they'll forget something okay all right so yeah um and we've been having such a good time the last couple of weeks. I'm knowing Friday, we're probably not going anywhere. Um, I love having brunch on Saturdays because normally like I don't get up out of the bed till two or three o'clock. But I wanna do brunch Saturday brunch a good dirty margarita i mean good dirty bloody mary yeah but yeah i'll probably see you guys this afternoon when i get off work to go eat some biscuits get caught up all right Okay, well, I have successfully made it through the first part of my morning without <laughs> crawling under the table. Um, I normally don't do a lot of, like, go to lunch. You know, I normally don't, like, take a lunch break. I either work or, you know, just go grab me something to eat. Or I've, you know, brought my lunch. But today, I'm like, you know what? We're gonna go get us something to eat. We're not taking any recommendations. <laughs> We're not taking any recommendations. Um, but there is a little spot just right up the street. I'm just gonna go there and have me some lunch because I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> but I thought I, th I thought y'all might wanna go because my last Chinese food experience So we're going to redeem the situation with somewhere that I've eaten before. And I know exactly what to go in there and get. I'm not trying anything new. <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're gonna get what we know. That way there will be no disappointment, at least for today. Um, it's still a little chilly out. And it's a little gloomy. Speaking of. There's no need to have the AC on. 
But yeah, we're gonna go to lunch really quick. I'm actually gonna sit down, which is, I don't do that often either. Well, okay. <clears throat> Lunch was good. Lunch was good. Man, let's leave out with this humidity today. We might end up fighting, but uh, yeah, lunch was good. Oh, she's so cute. Who's texting me? <clears throat> Very good lunch. Glad I decided to do that. And glad I decided to get away from that office. <sighs> because oftentimes sitting there all day like that. Yeah. So <sighs> normally it's like 2.30. It's only 12.30. But we are on our way to Ava Jade Aesthetics. I'm gonna go try to pop up on Miss Diane. And it looks like I'm about 15 minutes away. So yeah. Let's do something a little different today. By the rain, say by the pain, ain't but a thing. It's now. Don't mind who you say, I'm gon' need some else to burn. Daddy and I got nowhere to turn. Nobody be jumping the sun. I'm not in the mix, but don't act like you ain't heard. Okay, you're back. And it's $13. So cute. Huh? Just keep it slow. I'm not gonna lie, still in the dreams. Soon as my eyes roll open, come get tokens. I've been training myself to add cheese to the Hey y'all, this is my beautiful friend, Miss Diane Gibson, the owner of 50 Shades Spa, and she is everything esthetician, okay? You need Botox, you need filler, laser, she is good. Look at how gorgeous she is, y'all. Okay, and then we gotta, I gotta let her know. I'm 47. <laughs> 47, okay. Um, and then, I'm a registered nurse. So on top of that, you know, I have the nursing and all that kind of stuff. And she so, is very skilled in her craft, mm -hmm. okay? She has paid her dues here. An aging specialist and a skin of color specialist. Specialist. A skin of color. And I give good hugs. <laughs> and it was so good to see you. I was like, I was telling everybody, I was like, I have to go see my friend. I'm going to pop up on her. her arms. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to see you now. Me too. Okay. Yeah. I'll see y'all later, y'all. Bye. So I was involved in an accident last night and to add to that, um, they took off. So I'm clearly like a little frazzled right now. One, because the way the incident happened and I'm trying to keep my head in front of this light. So, um, yeah. All I know is I'm driving, minding my minding my business, you know, trying to get home because it was clearly a little after ten o'clock last night. 
um i'm driving and i look up and i can't help but to notice that a car from the opposite direction is like coming at me and i have a green light No one was on the side of me, so I did the best I could to swerve. And thank God I did because I feel like that's the only reason that I kind of walked away from this unscathed. Like I wasn't physically hurt. Y'all, by the time I could look up and gather my thoughts, because the first thing I could think of was this other fucker is about to ram into my door and i'm going to be hurt so turn do whatever you need to do y'all i don't know that that it, it, it scared me it scared me because sometimes you don't necessarily see an accident before it's getting ready to happen and I think that's the part I'm stuck on, that I saw her coming. So I really only had a couple of options. Like I didn't have a whole lot of choices, especially at the speed she was going. So once the impact had actually happened, I, 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 I'm trying to gather my thoughts and I look up and I had my rendo cracked. It's a young looking, black girl who didn't seem to me like she was maybe a day over 1920 she had to be early 20s if that y'all she walked up to my window stuck her head in the window and asked me if i was okay and i'm like you hit me i i, I guess i don't i don't really know yet and I said, well, let me grab my phone. Baby, when I said, let me grab my phone, she was like, okay, let me back up a little bit so we can at least get out of the intersection because we were dead in the middle of an intersection off of Oak Lawn and Maple in Dallas. Like somewhat of a busy intersection. Y'all, I'm thinking she is gonna back her car out. So first of all, I can get out of my door because she was in my door to where I couldn't open the door up. Like in there, in there. Y'all, when I said, let me get my phone, and she was like, yeah, let me pull out of the middle of the intersection. Y'all, why did she get in her car and take off? She got in her car and she burnt off. I'm thinking she's going to back up a little bit, get out of my door so I can pull up and get out of the intersection. So as she's backing up, I'm actually pulling up a little bit to at least, you know, cross the cross the middle of the street to get to where, you know, nobody could hit me and I could put my flashes on. Y'all, she backed up and took off. I'm talking about burnt rubber. And God knows how far she made it to. Like, I, I don't even know what kind of damages it was. But let me tell you something. I went to school to be a police officer. So I couldn't find out all the information that I needed to find out. But I do. I was able to figure out what exactly what kind of car it was. Not only that, but I feel like, too, when you're a good person and your heart. Well, first of all, God don't play about me. And... I was I was a little scared. I was a little shaken up because again, I, I almost saw my life flashing before me. That could have went some kind of way. Um excuse my language, but fuck that car. I can I can get a car. I'm not worried about the transportation. It was me making it uh, you know, uh, uh being able to walk away from that. Girl, y'all, she burnt off, girl, she left. She left the scene. So by the time I could even pull up and get out of my car, she was gone. It's 10 o'clock at night. Nobody stopped. Nobody witnessed the accident. So as they're pulling my tow truck, I mean, as they're pulling my car up on the tow truck, I just so happened to look down. And I called my mother prior to that, like a few minutes before that, and she was just, you know, trying to calm me down, trying to talk to me, and... I got out and kind of looked around the car. Let me tell you about how God don't play with me. So 
So whoever you are, boo. It, it, it's probably not going to be so good for you. Because in the state of Texas, hit and run can be considered a felony. Um, I never wish bad or harm on anybody, but I, I'm going to pursue this. I, I'm going to pursue this because... Whatever in your right mind, I mean, maybe you had warrants, maybe you were in trouble, maybe you didn't have any insurance, maybe you were drinking, maybe I don't even know. It, it doesn't even matter at this point because I'm covered in a lot of ways, you know. I pay a lot of money for insurance every month, so, you know, a simple phone call last night, I'm completely set up. I'm about to get in an Uber right now and go get a vehicle but it's the day before thanksgiving like 